Are you tired of losing games to Anduin and Malfurion because of their healing? Well, this is the comp for you. I'm a doctor! Just like you, gamer, I was sick and tired of playing against Anduin and Malfurion because they just kept healing and it gets really frustrating and Anduin becomes so big. But Tenzin actually does a really good job of countering this, and that is because of the Veil of Shadows ability she has where enemies can't heal. And this may not seem like a really big deal, but if you can get it on a Holy Nova turn, or you can get it on a really big heal turn with Malfurion, or just in general with Malfurion because he heals every single turn, it does quite a lot against it. And especially because you get the slowdown with Varden on the first turn, Malfurion actually can't go first, which means you're guaranteed to get this to go first unless they have a Varden on their side. Lich King is also here because of the Shadow Synergy, but he does a very good job at Frostbiting, which just completely nukes Malfurion from the game because you know if you hit the frostbite on him that his scenarian surge is not nearly as good anymore and it makes it kind of awkward make sure you have the frost mortability. ability i actually was trying out this one but like no one has like spells that cost more than seven currently because everything is really fast so frostborn is just the play you slow down their varden you slow down their samaro whatever it's just the go-to lich king is just basically there for that i also should probably use the this one but for the sake of uh PvP I was not. And then for Dawn's Grab, we're using, or not Dawn's Grab, Tenzin, we're using the last rights. We're doing the 25 25 taunt, really good against Samaro. The rest of them just don't feel like they do a lot for her, so it's always going to be this one. Varden, again, the death rattle, just the best one. Great kit. You should get Varden if Varden's not maxed already. What are you even doing? And then you have Sylvanas, Vol'jin, and Rag on the bench. I was still going against quite a bit Karen and Diablo, so rag comes out to just one shot the diablo which is great you have vol'jin to follow up on the shadow synergy with either the lich king or temzin and sylvanas just follows that as well because she is shadow and if you get a one cost or one speed banshee bolt it is really good you want to try to reclaim souls if you can you're not going to get that much from it but it seemed to do the job and i was pretty happy with the overall comp and if you end up liking this comp and you want to see more stuff like this i have a bunch on the youtube channel so you should subscribe so you stay updated with awesome comps every single day and I just want to tell you, you look fantastic. You look fantastic. Playing Gul'dan for fun or to kill Karen? He's, I wouldn't play him for fun. He's, he's got an in our comp. All right. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Young. All right, we're heading this to the middle. I really got to make sure like this doesn't, I would like to do the damage into tomorrow, but let's get real here. I'm going to not even focus on this one, right? You can slow me down. It's fine. You can slow anyone down. I don't think it really matters. This is going to be kind of awful, but stopping this from being so fast is usually pretty good. So we'll see. How's PV gone? Been focused on task firing. We passed, we went like 8.4 yesterday. Now I'm trying some stuff out. The, the thing with this mode is like, I wish there was a non-rated mode so you can try things, but I get why they don't have it. It kind of sucks. I would like to get to 10K, but content's hard to come up with. I wonder if they focus Lich King. It'd be kind of weird if they did, but maybe they do. Okay, here's the thing. Does, does he even die? Shut up and take my money, Kappa. Oh. <laughs> Shut up and take my money, Kappa. <laughs> Is what I just heard. So this is five. Uh, I believe this is still four. So I can kill Malfurion here. 26, 26 plus 16. It's not enough to kill him. I'd have to stun this. We should try to kill him. It does 32 damage, but I don't think it's enough either. Could summon the dude? Rukan's also a problem here. Because aren't scaling? Scaling's not bad. It stops healing, which I think is a pretty good idea. Him muddy footing this. Right, he just muddy footings this anyways. I think if I get this off, it should go here. Yeah, he just muddy footings it. 
Okay. So what is this? A mirror enemy? Not great. Sulfurs might have been better for this comp. His Whirling Blade's really slow. I don't think it's Sylvanas. I don't like Sylvanas here. I need to kill this dude. He's going to just one shot this, right? Just no way of doing this correctly. His Whirling Blade's eight, or his, his thing's eight. This will do uh, 28 damage. Twenty-eight. He needs to die. I think this is enough. I have to hope he's not sniping because if he is sniping, this is going to be bad, but I think this is the play. Oh, wait, I forgot it's for. Oh, wait, that's fine. That's fine. Nice. That's that's so good. OK, OK, that's fine. That's actually great. <sighs> OK, 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 OK. That was actually really good. Oh, my God. Do you like Uther versus Smart Openers? Maybe that's maybe in a specific comp. I actually want to try Uther out more because I, I think Uther could be really cool with the, the Divine Shield passive. Like you don't even maybe you just don't even put him in the Holy Comp. You know what I mean? Maybe the Holy Comp is just strictly bait. I imagine he's not running. He's running the new Justin Bieber and Team America comp. This is the new comp. Is it Karen Diablo in the bench? It has to be Karen Diablo in the bench. No way it's not. No way it's not. But the bright side, Varden's very good into this because at least Varden has a. Oh. Well, that's not good. He's dead no matter what, right? He gets 20 and then 10. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Unfortunate. Well, what can I do? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. At least he doesn't get that, the health, which is really important. Yeah. Oh, thank God he didn't get it. Oh wait, through Khan does something else. Oh god. I have no time for so Sylvanas is kind of interesting here. Normally I would want to reclaim souls this, but I think I'm just gonna one-shot him. Because I get to go first. Slow down again, do this. I'm gonna swing into this, but I think this is fine. I think I have to do this, right? It's one damage off from proccing, but he speeds up, so I kind of need to do this. Because I'm going to reclaim souls now. I have to reclaim souls next turn. So this is the only play I have. And then I have to hope Vol'jin doesn't die here. And if Vol'jin does die, it's fine, but then they're not speeding up. Uh, like, he could actually huge brain this, like, ginormous brain this right now with the fact that, I mean... Definitely, it's definitely possible for me to win. It's just very weird. I think killing Brukan is correct, though. Like, I think I have to. This might be my only turn to get Reclaimed Souls, though. I don't know. Is there a human comp, maybe? Not that I've played. I haven't really leveled up. I haven't really leveled up. Uh... Okay, nice. Wait, that's actually so good. Because now he can't get the stomp off, right? Wait, this is so good. Wait, I wonder if I could get the... It's obviously Diablo. Okay. We are reclaiming souls here no matter what. That is an absolute must. 
This does 10 damage. This is 10 damage, right? Or 20 damage to this. 10 damage to this. He takes the bleed, but I mean, as long as he gets the, the hit off, I think we're okay. Which means I get to slow him down the following turn. I have to reclaim souls here. So we're reclaiming souls another one. I can't cold snap. I could freeze him. But I think I freeze him next turn. Because we're not going to be slowed down. Job done. Has to be this. He's dead. Doesn't matter what he does. But at least I get the damage off. <sighs> this is hard, man. I gotta really think. Taylor, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Varden still has this. Varden still has the death rattle, which I think is very important. The bleed is obviously really good here, but he could just go into the stomp or like the extra fishy, but he doesn't get the stomp, which I think is really important. Oh, interesting. He doesn't get it. Wait, he left? Wait, 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 that is never the play, is it? That means he can't speed up. We freeze him. This goes here. There's a weakness. He dies. This is 14 damage. He's done. This is 14 damage. I don't really need to do anything besides this freeze him, right? Vol'jin. Vol'jin is gonna die this turn right no he lives one more turn if i freeze him it's just game right i want to do 29 i think doing 29 damage to him is actually just strictly better so i'm gonna do that but i think i freeze him is that correct I could stop him from doing damage though. No, so it's just better to do this. Yeah, no, it just makes more sense because then he doesn't get damage off either. You just freeze him. He doesn't do anything. Just 10 damage. We just do this. Doesn't matter. Slow him down for next turn. Just do this. It's actually like better to swing this, right? He's gonna kill it anyways. Actually, he doesn't even get to kill it. He's super slow. He gets one next turn. Do I reclaim souls here? I think I reclaim souls here. Do I reclaim souls here, chat? It's just 30 damage. We slow him down. I think I reclaim souls. That way I get at least I get a guaranteed tie. Shadow's Vault is Shadow and Trigger's Vulgin combo. Oh true. Wait, wait, that's actually five head. Yeah, he just dies. Okay, yeah. All right, all right. We're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah, my one. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. I think him leaving up Vol'jin was a mistake, but I get what he was going for because if he killed Sylvanas, he never lost that game. So, like, I get what they were doing, but, like, yeah, I don't know about leaving up Vol'jin. Yeah. Uh, this is probably going to be the same. Uh, I don't think this is the same comp, but I think we start out the same way, right? Oh, nice. Rise. No stream sniper, poor for worry. Oof. Not a great start. Not a great start.
He has Cookie on the bench. Hitting hitting this is irrelevant, right? So like hitting this is irrelevant. Maybe it is better to hit this because then I just make this character better. Or uh, but then I lose the damage on him, which I think is a big problem. I think I if I kill Vol'jin, I'm in a decent spot. Or Samara, I think I'm in a decent spot. Vol'jin's so scary, man. This is such a bad. I need to start putting Zyrella back in. I think Zyrella actually would make a lot of things easier. Okay, my damn. Well, that sucked ass. I definitely don't like Sylvia. So he's going to mirror entity this. Well, he gets a slower save. This is at five. No, this does 18. So he's dead. Okay, we kill him. He's gone. Goodbye. I could slow his next ability down, but I don't think that actually makes a difference, right? I think it's this. Is there a better play? I can do 16 with this, 20. No, I think it's just this, right? Yeah, this makes sense because we kill smart. Killing smart seems like a pretty good idea. So maybe there's a small chance that 25, 25 doesn't die, but yeah, they always do the AOE, right? Oh, that means he also does. Oof. So this looks like a Sylvanas turn. This proc's okay, so this proc's after, so this does an extra six, so this does technically 15 times two is 30. Oh, he's still not dead. He's still not dead. So I'd have to, I would have to break this. I could reclaim souls this, but I actually think killing Vol'jin here is the play. I could reclaim souls. It's just not like super great. It's super good against this, this lineup though. Killing Vol'jin opens up. Like Karen coming out, but I don't think Karen's necessarily as big of a problem. I think I kill him. Sorry, it goes like this. I think it's so slow. Oh. Well, that's not good. So I'm missing reclaim souls again. If I kill him. But I kind of need to. Like he needs to die. Right? That means that they can go for the mass heal. He gets an ability off no matter what. So that's fine. Go for the mass heal again. I think I just slow down. Attacking this is useless. It's unfortunate I missed reclaim soul, but I think it's okay. Wait, his cookie's not even maxed. Okay. I have to reclaim souls this. This is what I can. It 
have to like I have to get it off. I have to. If anything, it's better to like do this right now. Well, wow, look at this. It's so close, man. Like, oh god, this is such a hard. Someone's in there right on the bench. Are they not killing Vol'jin? Okay. He stomped last turn, which means Rag is kind of bad here. Speed up, hits this, gets life. True, yeah, I could have got five damage. Yeah, that's definitely a good call. I need Sulfurus here. Every game I want it. So they're going to speed up. This is 12 damage. They're not going to speed up, though. If they don't speed up, though, it's a little sus. If they attack. I actually think I kill her. I think I kill him over Natalie though. Don't want to hit that one. It's a good chance he never gets this off next turn, right? So it's like probably something like this. Like he might just be dead here. But I think it's something like this. So he slowed down. I wonder if he stomps, man. Like, if he stomps, like, the speed up is a 50 50 here. If he stomps, it's the same thing. Like, it doesn't actually change anything here unless he gets it above before this. Where if I do this, it's like super good. Because if I get the proc, it's nuts. But I don't know if it's better than the slow. Like, this is at least guaranteed for 50 50. But if I freeze him, it's so strong. The 12s. 12, 24, so he's dead no matter what. So I think I can just take the 50 50 here. It's actually really close though. I don't know. I'm uh, If I win the 50 50 here though. Oh, it's that. Oh, because he died. Oh my God. He died. He died. Oh no, I lost. Wait, I still won though, right? Job done. I still win. Okay. Oh my god. I forgot he died. Let's go. Oh my god.